Good morning and welcome back to The Daily Vitamin, where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness. <clears throat> Before I get into today's cards, my guys just reminded me, have you picked up my freebie yet? Have you downloaded my core belief reprogramming cards? If you haven't, the link is in the description below. You're definitely going to want to check this out. If you're doing any kind of work on yourself, getting rid of old core beliefs, or you're trying to reinstate something like confidence or positive beliefs about yourself or working with your own gifts and abilities, you're definitely going to want to utilize this free tool that I created. So make sure that you check it out. Like I said, link is in the description below or shoot me an email and I'll get you a link to where you can sign up and download that immediately. So with that said, Let's talk about your gifts, shall we? Let's talk about your your awakening process and your connection to spirit. Spira. <laughs> you ever hear people say that? Spira. <laughs> First up, we have the magician and the mirror. <laughs> now I want to say it like all the time. We have door to spira. <laughs> oh my God, let me stop. <laughs> And we've got the world. The world. Whoo. All right. So, y'all, I feel like, like, so these are my galactic guardians that are coming through today. They they tend to be a lot more humorous, which is why I'm feeling a little bit more punchy. Because <laughs> I'm talking to them right now. Um. <laughs> So, okay, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting carried away with, with how cute they are. So, they're pointing out, isn't it a coincidence? Isn't it super funny how the same, the same moment in time, when you're, when you're looking at the stretch of timeline of the existence of the planet, as far as, you know, we can reference it, which, whether we have those dates right or not, I, you know, I think it's debatable. Uh, but you can look at the blip of the, the existence of humanity on that stretch of timeline, and an even smaller hair fracture of a sliver in that timeline is this period of massive expansion, like rev revolutionary awakening among the masses. This is technological advances. This is <laughs> futuristic, modern and new age. Um, I'm hearing epic moves, epic, epic moves forward. Okay, so I'm hearing epic moves forward and steps forward. So taking steps forward. So you think about how long humanity like lived in the dark ages you know where we're just like hitting things with rocks and we're just like amazed by fire i mean fire is still amazing <laughs> but now we're able to like grow babies in a test tube and like mix a rat and a pig and put it together and now we have like a whole other animal and it actually like lives and functions which is like so bizarre i mean these are really bizarre things but this is all relative to these major advances that are being made in the human evolution and <laughs> my guides are kind of like you know flattering themselves and taking credit for it because this is where we have the stellar influence right this this is off-planet influence this is off-planet technology that's being bestowed upon us whether it be through our you know in institutionalized systems i'll just put it that way uh through downloads right through um stream of consciousness whatever it might be but what they're highlighting is how the thing give the power to the people where you know there were days where it's like you, you needed a priest to talk to god right there was always like that middleman like you couldn't quite tap into that stream of consciousness or or receive that that good good goodness of that infinite wisdom that surrounds us all because of i'm hearing the latency okay so because of the um <laughs> we'll say farther back ev in evolutionary times the capacity just wasn't there. The consciousness just wasn't developed enough, right? We weren't mature enough as far as our awareness, but now we are. Now we are. Now we have technology, right? Now we wear computers on our wrists. I mean, people are getting computers installed in their, like, computer chips in their brain, and now they're able to walk again or, like, telepathically communicate with a cell phone. I mean, this is, this is incredible stuff that's happening. And we're just, we're just scratching the surface. And if you look in, like, the past few centuries of how far we've come so fast <laughs> again my guides are like you know taking all the credit i want to say but showing how they have an influence of it's almost like they're saying you know god touched us on the top of the head and sparked this activation of awareness that 
Now we're being flooded with these ideas, these technologies, these new sciences, sciences and these new abilities to, uh, I'm hearing techniques, to apply these techniques, to apply this knowledge that once was seen as magic, right? Oh, that's, that's magic. That's blasphemy. That's heresy, right? Or whatever. Like it was seen as something to be afraid of. They're showing me a vision of like, think about the first caveman who was like, you know, held up a stick with a flame on it, right? It was just like, look what I just made. And everyone else is just going to run from him in fear, you know, and maybe, maybe approach cautiously in amazement, but still have an element of fear because it's like this new thing. Well, they're saying same applies for us now. They're saying humans are no different. Even though we're advanced, we're still those, uh, <laughs> they're calling us primates at heart. Um, <laughs> we, we still have that, that reflex of being afraid of these advancements, right? Of being afraid of these openings. And they're saying this, this is our doorway to spirit. Right? Spirit. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Let me stop. I don't know why that's so funny to me right now, but it's very, very funny to me. Um, so this is our doorway, right? This is our do doorway to spirit, which is also the doorway to our future. It's the doorway to further discoveries, further exploration, further advancement. And this is what is, I'm hearing, needed and necessary in order to help, they're saying escalate, but I feel like truly to evolve the world. You know, we often talk about on this channel how, you know, many people are going through their own individual spiritual awakening, but just like we are going through our own awakening and ascension, Mother Earth is going through hers, right? Gaia, Mother Earth, she has her own sentience. She has her own consciousness. She has her own process. And she also is evolving. She also is flinging through space, <laughs> going through her own uh, opening point, we'll say. So she goes through her own ascension as well. And we are all a part of this, this collective consciousness that we connect in with her. You know, think of, um, oh my God, my memory. What is that movie? Avatar. Think of Avatar, right? How we are able to plug into and tune into her collective consciousness. It's, it's very real. Like this isn't far out fantasy stuff. Like this is very, very real. This is why movies are so good sometimes because it's like they, they can deposit these, these ideas, these stories, these possibilities into the minds of the masses. So that way later on when it's proven to be true and proven to be the reality, that it's easier to accept and digest because it's like, oh yeah, I saw that in Star Wars. Okay, yeah, I got it. Or yeah, I saw that in Avatar. I totally know what that's about, right? And so like, you can feel like you're on top of your game. So it closes the gap within that cognitive dissonance, right? So we're less likely to reject it. Because like I said, these are far out advancements and if someone is showing us fire for the first time, it would be really, really easy to just be like, ah, <laughs> you know, evil, evil, do away with it, put it out, right? When you don't want to, this, there's a need to embrace this because this is literally helping us forward, right? It's, it's helping us move forward. It's helping us evolve. And I know that there's a lot of fear around, you know, technology and AI and what's possible and how people are losing their privacy. And like, there's a lot of conversation around this, right? There's a lot of controversy conversation there's a lot of fear around this but i feel like the message today my guys is that we are all in this together and it's important to have open discussion have open dialogue and have open open conversation with our our peers but it's also truly important to remain in touch with our own spirit our own connection to divine our own divine line as far as what is in our best interest to adopt uh, as far as you know beliefs or ideas or practices even you know what do I want to accept into my life or apply into my life and you know what do I want to teach my children or um, expose my children to and what is how do I say like what what is my own fear holding me back from really truly embracing these advances advancements <laughs> advances like technology's hitting on you <laughs> technology's making a move on you <laughs> maybe you know maybe there, there's that too you know and that's that's the thing like when you're dealing with with any anything any kind of like evolution expansion there's it's it's a full breath right full spectrum and you're gonna have things that are gonna seem amazing like you know, like putting a chip in someone's brain and now they can walk and talk. And then the scary stuff of like, oh my God, we just created like ter another Terminator. You know what I mean? Like AI is gonna turn against humanity and 
or the the what is that the driverless car that ended up killing someone right so like there's you know there's there's going to i'm hearing my guide say you have to take the good with the bad because there's an adaptation process and an acclimation period as we learn to live with these new things and new features i'm laughing because my guides are reminding me like it took me forever to get um what do i have it's like a echo is that what it is the google I don't even know what it is. It's not even plugged in. I'll be honest with you. Because it took me forever to get it because I was like, I don't want a listening device in my home. But honestly, I already have so many. You know what I mean? I got a cell phone. I got a computer. Like all, all, everything, right? Smart TV. So there's there's things that if you want to, how should I say, play the game, right? If you want to stay connected, if you want to uh, keep up, then there are areas in which we kind of, <laughs> like, my guys are very clear they're saying we kind of have to get over ourselves you know we kind of have to get over ourselves uh it's it's not just the evil doers it's not just the controllers on the planet there is actually a galactic influence that is encouraging us and, and acknowledging that it's time for us to try something new so my loves if there's anything in your life that you know maybe you've been avoiding or you know you haven't tried something new or you haven't uh you know explored a new idea more deeply or you haven't invested in something for fear of I don't know, technology being bad or AI being, you know, nefarious or, or whatever it might be. Uh, I feel that <laughs> there is no need to fear that there is a positive influence that is supporting these moves forward. As long as you just keep, I'm hearing, keep your head in the game. So, you know, stay aware, stay educated, stay apprised of information, know all of your options and recognize that your consent is always the final say so. You have consent in everything. That is galactic law. That's universal law across the board. So cool. Very cool. Interesting one today. Awesome. So with that, my friends, I want to leave it there. And uh, yeah, let me know how this applies to your life and to your world. This was a really different one and I really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Sending so much love. Bye.